good morning students last class we started with amalgamation absorption and external reconstruction there were four sub topics right uh, meaning what do you mean by amalgamation absorption external reconstruction that i beautifully explained to you the next topic of discussion was calculation of purchase consideration so we will be continuing with that second topic the third topic of discussion will be accounting treatment in the books of new company and the last topic will be accounting treatment in the books of old company right so today we will start with uh, we we started with point number 2 that is calculation of purchase consideration i had given you uh, i have explained you what do you mean by purchase consideration by what are the methods you can calculate there are two method that is one net payment method and net asset method and then i gave you two cases right to understand uh, the net payment method will be given the first preference and net asset method will be given the second preference and for the purchasing company that is new company you have to calculate goodwill that is only in case of net payment method because over there the purchase consideration and netto is different right okay so <coughs> let us see that there is one illustration which has been given initially right just to make you understand the calculation of purchase consideration right illustration number 1 is that fine okay kindly give a reading i'll read along with you right they have given us the balance sheet of a limited as on 31st march 2014 uh, you have authorized issued and paid up capital 14000 uh, 14% sorry 14% preference share of rupees 100 each uh, 750 it means the uh, number of preference shares is uh, 7500 equity share of rupees 10 each a uh, fully paid up and called up and paid up 15 lakh so divide by 10 you get 1 lakh 50000 equity share fine a reserve and surplus you had general reserve then non current liabilities you have debentures then current liabilities it's 5 lakh so total of liabilities equity and liabilities 43 lakh 50000 now you can see the asset side right uh, you have fixed assets right that is tangible and intangible that is 32 lakh 50000 then you have investments worth rupees 6 lakh current asset uh, that comes to all the current assets total they have given 5 lakh so it totals up to 43 lakh 50000 the asset total now x limited agreed to take over the assets and liabilities on the following terms and conditions right so it is an absorption case right i have already told you amalgamation absorption or external reconstruction does not matter the accounting treatment is same the only thing you need to identify the purchasing company and the vendor company so here in this case what is the new company oblique the purchasing company that is x limited is buying the assets and liabilities of a limited who is the old company rather we would say vendor company right the old company or the vendor company is a limited right so they have given us two cases case one when consideration calculated under the net asset method and when consideration calculated under net payment method so basically we have to calculate purchase consideration so what does the word purchase consideration means amount payable to shareholders of a limited by the new company that is x limited now shareholder means equity as well as preference shareholder both will get consideration from the new company right so first of all they will they have told us to calculate uh, as per point number 1 when consideration calculated under net asset method so as per net asset method you have to see 
uh, sundry assets being taken over by the new company and sundry liabilities taken over by the new company both at agreed value the net difference will give you nato and that nato is purchase consideration is that fine so what they are telling discharge debentures at a premium of 10% so old company mm, have old company means a limited a limited have debentures of 7 lakh so these debentures are to be discharged right uh, at 10% premium it means 7 lakh debenture holders they will be discharged at 10% premium it means new company has to pay them 10% extra so 7 lakh Uh, plus ten percent, that comes to seven lakh seventy. So now seven lakh seventy, what they are getting? They 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 are in their books. It is showing seven lakh, but the new company will discharge them at a premium of ten percent. So how much new company will pay them? Seven lakh seventy. Now what new company is giving them? Uh, they are giving uh, its own debenture, right? So tell me. amount payable amount payable to the debenture holder of old company will it come in purchase consideration absolutely no it will be treated as like other liabilities such as creditor outstanding expenses right only you whatever you pay to the shareholders that will come in purchase consideration is that fine anyway so 15% debentures are to be discharged at a premium of 10% means 7 lakh debentures of a limited will get 7 lakh 70 and what they will get they will get cash or what they are going to get 15% debentures of new company right okay fixed assets at 10% above the book value so fixed asset value is 32 lakh 50000 but the new company has agreed to take it over at more than the book value investments at par value current asset at 10% discount current liabilities at book value so whatever assets and liabilities that has been purchased by the new company they have told each assets and liabilities agreed value right so point number 1 calculation of purchase consideration under net asset method is that fine so so what you have purchased you have purchased fixed asset at agreed value so simply calculate netto netto will be my purchase net asset taken over will be my purchase consideration right netto is my purchase consideration so what is the agreed value of fixed asset 32 lakh 50000 into 110% So thirty two lakh fifty thousand into hundred and ten percent. That comes to thirty five lakh seventy five thousand.
नाउ अग्रीड वैल्यू ऑफ फिक्स एसेट इज थर्टी फाइव लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड नाउ वी हैव इन्वेस्टमेंट्स सो इन्वेस्टमेंट्स अग्रीड वैल्यू इज पार सो वॉट एवर इज द बुक वैल्यू इन द बुक्स ऑफ ओल्ड कंपनी दैट इज द अग्रीड वैल्यू फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट सिक्स लैख इज दैट फाइन नाउ वॉट इज द अग्रीड वैल्यू ऑफ करेंट एसेट दे हैव क्लियरली मैंशनड टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट सो दैट इज फाइव लैख हाउ एवर इट इज बींग टेकन ओवर बाय द न्यू कंपनी एट नाइंटी परसेंट टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट मीन नाइंटी परसेंट सो फाइव लैख इन टू नाइंटी परसेंट सो दैट कम्स टू फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो वॉट इज द टोटल ऑफ एसेट थर्टी फाइव लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्स लैख प्लस फोर लैख फिफ्टी so that comes to 46 lakh 25000 right less sundry liabilities taken over right now under the liability side you are not going to take equity because for equity you are calculating purchase consideration right so you're not going to take equity section that is shareholders fund you are not going to take you are going to take non current liability and current liability because debentures will be treated as like other liabilities so debentures of old company what is the agreed value 7 lakh but they are agreed that they will be paid 10% extra right so i will take 7 lakh 70000 then current liabilities right so this is my netto oblique purchase consideration under net asset method netto is my purchase consideration i guess this is absolutely fine with all of you right very simple sir new companies x limited because x limited is absorbing y limited a limited sorry x limited is absorbing a limited so purchase consideration means to the shareholder to the shareholders of old company new company will give right to the shareholders of old company whatever new company is giving that is purchase consideration but in the very first case the payment details are not mentioned so whatever new company is purchasing on that basis pc will be disbursed right so first of all i have to calculate what i have purchased from you i have purchased from you fixed asset it was this is these are old companies value 32 lakh 50 is old company but i am purchasing it at what price this is old company value but i am purchasing at 10% more investment i am purchasing at par this i am purchasing at 10% less i will pay your liabilities 10% more this is at par so in problem it is clearly mentioned at what value you have purchased these assets right 
so it is being clearly mentioned at what value you have purchased these assets and liabilities so what is your net asset 35 lakh 75000 plus 6 lakh plus 4 lakh 50 that comes to 46 lakh 25000 minus 7 lakh 70 minus 5 lakh so that comes to 33 lakh 55000 so this is my netto 33 lakh 50000 is my netto net asset taken over and that will be my purchase consideration now new company will give 33 lakh right new company will give 33 lakh 55000 to shareholder of a limited in cash or they can give equity share of new company or they can give preference share of new company or they can give debenture of new company anyway they are giving debenture of new company but not to the shareholder so that is why it will not come here whatever they are giving to the shareholders that will come in pc so once i come to know the amount if i know the payment details directly i know what the new company is giving how many shares how much cash how many debentures right but in this case first of all we have to determine the amount by net asset method so in order to determine the amount you bifurcate that at what price you have purchased individual assets and liabilities then you calculate netto so this is your pc amount now this pc the shareholder of a limited will get who will get shareholder of a limited from the new company and how things are to be settled either the new company will give cash or its shares or its preferences or its debentures is that fine right so first of all so what is new company x limited what is old company a limited pc means shareholder of a limited will get from new company fine do you know the details no calculate netto new company has purchased fixed asset at 10 percent more new company has purchased they have told that the purchase is being done at the following terms and conditions so fixed asset is being purchased at 10 percent more investment at par current asset at 10 percent discount debentures at 10 percent premium current liability at par so i got net asset taken over now the new company will give 33 lakh 50 to the shareholders of a limited in either cash or they will give their own share or they will give their own debenture is that fine are you getting my point now part 2 under part 2 they have given us the payment details right kindly read the second part when consideration calculated under net payment method calculation of purchase consideration under net payment method usually they will ask you any one either net asset method or net payment method okay first point discharge debenture holder of a limited at 10 percent premium anyway whatever you are discharging to debenture holder that will not come in pc note any payment done to debenture holders of 
ए लिमिटेड दैट इज ओल्ड कंपनी विल नॉट बी considered in calculation of pc over there it was subtracted because we had to calculate netto that doesn't means that we are taking this but under net payment method whatever payment you are getting for your shareholders i repeat whatever payment you are getting for your shareholders that will come so any payment done to debenture holders of old company will not be considered in calculation of pc as only payment to shareholders will be considered right so point number 1 has no relevance when you calculate netto then for calculating agreed value of old debentures then this point might be relevant but for calculating pc under net payment method this point is not relevant now preference shareholders they are discharged at 10% premium now this is relevant because preference shareholders of a limited are discharged at a premium of 10% buying issuing and in and in return first determine the amount and then new company is giving them its own preference shares then equity shares three equity share i am giving for every two in a limited right three equity share of rupees 10 each for every two equity share in a limited and i will also pay you cash per three equity share held so now i have to prepare that working note format which i shown you payment to payment in workings amount right so first of all it will be preference shareholder of a limited it has to be of old company right because payment to the shareholder of old company what they are giving they are giving 15% preference share of x limited of rupees 100 each amount the preference share capital of old company is 7 lakh 50 if i am not wrong see the balance sheet and they have agreed to pay us 10% premium so 7 lakh 50 into 10% that comes to they will give us 8 lakh 25000 so if they have to give us 8 lakh 25000 so now you can automatically determine the number of share if i have to give them 8 lakh 25000 divide by rupees 100 each then in that case i can easily get i will give you 8250 shares first of all i am giving you 10% more that is clear so how much i am giving you 8 like 25 now what i am giving you my shares of 100 each so accordingly you get how many shares you will get if i am paying you more so automatically you will get my more shares right if i am giving you less automatically you will get my less share right 
इज दैट फाइन नाउ देन इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर ऑफ ए लिमिटेड आई एम गिविंग देम equity share of x limited as well as i am giving them cash now how many shares of x limited we have of uh, 150000 right here we had 7500 shares of old company and here we have 150000 shares so what is the ratio mentioned Three shares I will give for two. So basically, it is like this: swap ratio into number of old company share into share price of. न्यू कंपनी राइट इट इज बेसिकली स्वाप रेशियो इन टू नंबर ऑफ शेयर ऑफ ओल्ड कंपनी इन टू शेयर प्राइस ऑफ न्यू कंपनी इज दैट फाइन सो आई कैन डू दैट आई एम गिविंग यू Three shares for every two into, and you are in total one lakh fifty, and my share price is rupees ten. So for. Two shares. I am giving you three. Three. I am issuing for two, so it will be three by two. For two, I am giving you three. So one lakh fifty. How much I will give you? So that is. I am giving you two lakh twenty-five thousand shares, and my each share is ten rupees. That comes to twenty-two lakh fifty thousand. Further, I am giving you cash as well. Rupees three per share, and you are in total one lakh fifty thousand. Right per equity share, I am giving. Rupees three per equity share of A Limited. When you practice more and more, automatically things will become clear to you. So how much? Eight lakh twenty-five thousand you paid to preference shareholder of old company. Plus twenty two lakh fifty you paid to equity shareholder of old company. Plus four lakh fifty you paid to equity shareholder of old company. That comes to thirty five lakh twenty five thousand. Is that fine? so equity shareholder of old company is getting equity share as well as cash swap ratio means share exchange ratio right so i will show you here वो 
kings swap ratio into number of shares of old company into share price of new company right so last class which we did case number 1 in that it was clearly mentioned that new company gave 15000 shares and its share price was 50 rupees right and today we have learned that how this new company determines that how many shares to give that is swap ratio into number of shares of old company now how this swap ratio is being calculated that we will cover in next class or simple language you can understand say for example uh, my company's uh, share price is new company right simple i'm i'm just i'm just making you understand right new companies share price is say 60 rupees and old companies share price is say rupees 120 just tell me if i am the shareholder of old company and i have one share then how many shares i will demand from new company for my one share i will demand from you two shares as simple as that because anyway i cannot have a compromise on my net worth my net worth for one share is 120 so you have to give me equivalent to 120 agreed or not sir 100% agreed right so like this swap ratio is calculated but in our exam this swap ratio will be given to us so swap ratio multiply with number of shares so automatically you come to know total new company will give how many shares how many shares new company will give right that is what we have done here you can just have a look for two shares new company will give us 3 for my two shares new company will give me 3 and we are 150 in total we are 150 in total so how many shares you are going to give us 2 lakh 25000 shares and what is the value of your shares 10 rupees it is clearly mentioned and i will also give you cash of 3 per share and you are in total 150 so as a result of which like this i am going to get pc i guess this is absolutely fine with all of you there should not be any problem right as you practice more and more things will get repeated again and again so automatically you will get a grip of it right let us start with illustration number
ओके फॉलोइंग इज द बैलेंस शीट ऑफ ए लिमिटेड एज ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सेवन ओके फाइन इक्विटी शेयर फोर्टीन थाउजेंड इक्विटी शेयर ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड इच फोर्टीन लैख जनरल रिजर्व टेन परसेंट डिवेंचर सन्ड्री क्रेडिटर्स बैंक ओवर ड्रा बिल्स पेबल देर आर सो मेनी लाइबिलिटीज एंड सन्ड्री एसेट इज एटीन लैख डिस्काउंट ऑन इश्यू ऑफ डिवेंचर दिस इज नॉट एसेट इट्स अ एक्यूमुलेटेड लॉस विच हैज नॉट एट बीन रिटर्न ऑफ Preliminary expenses again, it's an accumulated loss, not yet been written off, and PL debit balance. R Limited agreed to take over the business of A Limited. Again, this is absorption. Hardly doesn't matter. You have to find out which one is new company. R Limited, which one is old company? A Limited. So PC means amount payable. to shareholders of a limited by r limited and you can do it by net payment method and net asset method now see what they have told us and they have told us to go by net asset method because the share payment detail is not mentioned okay so kindly do it calculation of purchase consideration under net asset method so now see what new company has purchased that to what agreed value get the net asset purchase nato and that will be pc now 75% of the asset is being estimated at 10% more than the book value so 18 lakh into 75% right so 18 lakh Into seventy-five percent. This is thirteen lakh fifty thousand. Is estimated to be twelve percent more than the book value. So these are purchased at hundred and twelve percent. And remaining twenty-five percent is being purchased at eight percent less than the book value. Means at ninety-two percent. we don't have any other asset this is sundry assets taken over at agreed value remember sundry assets taken over at sundry assets taken over at agreed value so this is agreed value right i am taking at 112% 92% this is agreed value now less liabilities the nato will be my purchase consideration so liabilities at book value there is unrecorded liability this is extra to be taken over so debentures of a limited it's a liability not mentioned anything so new company will purchase at par value sundry creditors 2 lakh it's already there but 25000 extra because there is an unrecorded liability so the agreed value for creditors has increased by 25000 bank overdraft agreed value is 50000 
बिल्स पेबल सो वॉट एवर इज नैटो दैट इज माई पी सी सो नाइनटीन लैख ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड राइट नाइनटीन लैख ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड माइनस टू लैख माइनस टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टी माइनस फोर्टी सो फोर्टीन लैख इलेवन थाउजेंड I guess this is absolutely fine. Under net asset method, whatever asset you have taken at agreed value, liability at agreed value. So they told that liabilities are being taken over at book value. Liabilities at book value, except there is an unrecorded liability. So I have increased my creditor by twenty-five thousand. You can see that I have increased my creditor. Right. So in short, I can say that new company will give. Fourteen lakh eleven thousand to shareholders of which company? Just just practice, right? Which company of old company in what form? Either they can give cash or they can give equity share of R Limited. or they can give their own preference shares or they can give debenture of r limited anything they can give i guess this is absolutely fine with all of you right now question number 3 illustration number 3 is that fine okay now s limited is absorbed by p limited so in the very first line new company is p limited old company is s limited pc means amount payable to shareholder both equity and preference of s limited by whom by p limited okay p limited has agreed let us see whether payment details are given or not i will give you 9% preference shares of 100 each fine in the ratio of Three shares of mine for four your shares, right? I will give your debenture holders new debenture. 
sir but anything paid to the debenture holder will not be considered if i am doing pc under net payment method i will give you 20 per share in cash that is for equity share and i will give you my six equity shares Of rupees 100 each, but the market value of such share is 125 in lieu of your 5 shares and to assume the liability to trade creditors. Right? So, point number B and D is irrelevant, it will only be relevant when I am doing PC calculation under net asset method. So, whatever you are giving to the shareholder, that is why both equity and uh, preference shareholder of old company that will come in PC. No other information will come in purchase consideration. Right. So, now we have to draw that format. Calculation of Payment to payment in workings amount, right? So Preference shareholder of S Limited. How much they are in number? See the balance sheet. They are 2000 in number. What they are getting? Preference share of a new company. Okay. Now the working is what? Swap ratio into number of shares of old company into share issue price of new company. So, swap ratio is for 4, I am giving you 3. 3 shares in P for 4 of S. It will be new by old into number of shares of old company into share issue price of new company. That is, new company will give 15. 100 shares of rupees 100 each that comes to 150000 is that fine very simple Swap ratio into number of shares of old company. Swap into number of old company share into new company share price. If you solve the first bracket, you will come to know how many shares new company will give. So, new company is giving 1500 shares into share price of new company, right? Now, equity shareholder of S Limited and they are how much in number? Uh, the total is uh, 5000. They are getting first of all cash that is 20 per share and we are 5000 in number. 
that comes to 1 lakh. They are also getting shares, equity share of P limited. They will get 6 shares for every 5. First is 20 per share in cash and so plus. 6 shares for every 5 and the number of shares of old company and what is the share issue price? The share issue price they have given two values face value and market value obviously share will be issued at market value. Why would I issue my shares you at 100 rupees when the market value is 125? So that is new company will give 6000 shares of rupees 125. So 6000 into 125 that comes to 7 lakh 50. So purchase consideration is Ten lakh. I guess this is absolutely fine. So, preference share will get only preference share, but equity share will get equity share as well as cash. I guess this is absolutely fine. Right? So, when payment details are given, that will be given first preference. That is why, see, in this sum, uh, since the payment detail was fully there, so that is why I did not bother at what price these assets are being taken over it is hardly important not important for me it hardly matters to me right is that fine so you can just give a note amount payable to debenture holder of S limited is not considered. Right now, illustration four. We'll be covering only the first part of illustration four, right? Balance sheet of Y Limited as on 31st March 2010 they have given us. Uh, issued and paid up 2,50,000 equity share of rupees 10 each.
rupees 8 per share paid up and preference share of rupees uh, 10 each fully paid up fine reserve and surplus me you have journalism pl creditors uh, you have under the head current liability and workman profit sharing fund this is also current liability so you have two liabilities fixed asset uh, you have goodwill building plant current asset me you have stock debtor bank balance then you have miscellaneous expenditure that is preliminary expenses not yet written off fine x limited decided to absorb the business of y limited now when X Limited decides to absorb the business of Y, it means X Limited had decided to purchase assets and liabilities of Y Limited. I have already told you, business purchase means asset liability purchase. So in this case, again the first very first question, new company is X Limited and old company is Y Limited. So PC means amount payable to shareholders both equity and preference of Y limited by X limited is that fine okay now, so X Limited had decided to purchase the business of Y Limited at the respective book value of assets and liabilities. So he decides to take over the business of Y Limited means business of Y Limited means he has purchased assets and liabilities of Y Limited and he has decided to purchase at the book value except building is being valued at 12 lakh. So he had to purchase this building at 12 lakh, parent and machinery at 10 lakhs okay purchase consideration was payable as follow he will pay liquidation expenses though it's a liability of old company but still he is paying for that he will pay a uh, workman profit sharing fund at 10 percent premium so after purchasing he will set set all right he he won't keep this liability okay he is issuing equity share of rupees 10 each fully paid up at 11. So his share price is face value 10 but he will give me at 11. It means his issue price is 11. And he is going to give me equity share for every preference share. Now this time preference share will also get equity share. And every equity share, equity share will anyway get equity share and it's a separate line and a payment of five per equity share in cash it means cash will be given only to equity shareholder calculate the purchase consideration now tell me is the payment detail complete yes you know the swap ratio one share he will give for every one preference one share he will give for every one equity plus five per share in cash yes or no absolutely correct so in this given problem I told you pay net payment method will be given first preference calculation of purchase consideration under net payment method right so they have given us uh, here the pc can also be calculated under net asset method because they have given that assets and liabilities are being purchased by a new company at agreed values right but we are not going to take that we are going to follow net payment method this is our first preference category Is that fine? Okay. 
सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर ऑफ वाई लिमिटेड हाउ हाउ मेनी शेयर दे हैव वन लैक शेयर वॉट न्यू कंपनी इज गिविंग इक्विटी शेयर ऑफ एक्स लिमिटेड ओके वन इक्विटी शेयर फॉर वन प्रेफरेंस शेयर स्वाप रेशियो हाउ मेनी दे आर इन नंबर वन लैक शेयर एंड वॉट इज द शेयर इश्यू प्राइस इलेवन सो दैट इज वन लैक इक्विटी शेयर एट द रेट रुपीज इलेवन सो न्यू कंपनी इज गिविंग इक्विटी शेयर टू प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर एज वेल that comes to 11 lakh then the turn comes for equity shareholder of y limited how many they are in number 2 lakh 50000 so anyway they are getting equity share only so one for one Five per share cash and how many we are in number? right so preference is getting equity share equity shareholder is getting equity share as well as they are getting cash so the new company is giving equity share the new company is giving equity share to both preference shareholder and equity shareholder of old company right now they have asked us question point number 2 uh, accounting treatment in the books of new company which we will start in the very next session right so as of now we have completed two sub topics that is meaning and calculation of purchase consideration next class our complete discussion will be on accounting treatment in the books of new company right so kindly revise whatever we have done today and uh, till then take care goodbye